Current law requires the state's four investor-owned utilities to incorporate renewable energy sources. And that means by 2025, AEP, First Energy, Duke Energy, and Dayton Power & Light must generate 12.5% of its electricity from renewable sources like solar and wind power. There's a bill right now that would repeal these requirements, and, it's, and it's, it's currently heading through the state Senate. One of the Republican bill sponsors says the requirements are too stiff. Senator Chris Jordan of Powell says the last thing we need to do in Ohio is drive up the cost of energy for both Ohio families and businesses. And that's exactly what the alternative energy portfolio standard does. Jordan cites research from a Washington think tank, the American Tradition Institute. Their report says the renewables requirement will mean Ohioans pay more than $8 billion between 2016 and 2025. It also says the environmental impact will be negligible because renewable sources are not proven to emit any less amount of greenhouse gases. But those statistics conflict with a 2010 report from Policy Matters Ohio. That report found renewables, the renewable requirement, and energy efficiency mandates would cut Ohio's carbon dioxide emissions by 310 million gallons, sulfur dioxide by 1.8 million tons, and nitrogen oxide by 500,000 tons leading up to 2025. Currently, three of the state's four investor-owned utilities are making progress on their renewable energy portfolios. Last year, utilities created 477,000 megawatts of electricity, and that's enough to power 43,000 homes. The state has approved 177 renewable energy facilities through 2010. Environment Ohio's Clean Energy Report card gave an A rating to Duke Energy and Dayton Power & Light for their progress with renewable energy. AEP received a B, First Energy, and F for falling short on its solar energy and energy efficiency requirements. Currently, the bill that would repeal renewable energy requirements in Ohio has not been assigned to a committee in the Senate. To read the reports from Environment Ohio or the American Tradition Institute, just log on to our website, ONNTV.com, and click that Green Ohio link. For Green Ohio, Harrison Hove, the Ohio News Network.